Hey friends, this is Nick and I call my channel DZ Performance and I appreciate you tuning in. The project that I've got to bring you this weekend is I have a 408 big block Chevy build that's just a 70 over 1968 396 and then I take the motor, bump the cam up a little bit and I put a 454 crank in it with Keith Black Pistons to stroke it to a 436 cubic inch. And uh, you may ask yourself, why Why would you do that? But this is one of the easiest and cheapest stroker builds that you can do. And 396s are so plentiful right now uh, at very reasonable prices. So anyway, let me show you the dyno, the dyno pulls. And the. I'll be back with the sheets and uh, information on this project. Okay, let me review first with you the 408 big block Chevy. I got this big block Chevy. It came in a, a classic car that I took it out of and went through the motor. I changed it to a, a hydraulic roller. That was the first thing that I did. I changed it to the Comp Cams Extreme Energy 230, 236. It's a 510 valve lift on the intake. It's a 520 on the exhaust. It's got a lobe separation of 110. Well, the motor started out at nine and a half to one compression. It was stock pistons, just nice rebuild. I did not have a windage tray in it when I dynoed it as a 408. It had a uh, RPM air gap on it with just a standard 750 Holley vacuuming opening secondaries. So the horsepower that it made, and this is pretty typical for that type of build. I've done several of those before. I've showed you one last week that I recently did a 396 with uh, extreme energy, but this one made 457 and 480 foot pounds of torque. The, these heads was the nicest piece in the motor. They have 219 uh, intake valves. They have 188 exhaust. I upgraded them to a comp, cram, comp cams valve spring of a 929-16 spring. They're about 150 pounds of seat pressure and 350 open is about what the uh, the springs run. I had um, Summit brand full roller rockers on the motor for both tests. So that was the 408. The reason I like this build is the, if you go on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, you find them on the internet. 396s are really reasonable. They're just, they're out there. People pull them out, put bigger motors in, whatever. But for the price that you can land a 396, and then the crankshaft, when I did this project of, uh, I'm talking about now upgrading the motor to the 436 cubic inch, the stroker version. There's no clearancing involved. There's plenty of room inside the, the block has been my experience the couple times that I've done it. And uh, you just buy a 454 crank, you can reuse your 396 rods. The The standard length uh, rods work for a big block Chevy. So the only item you need, the, the pieces that you need is you need the 454 crank and the correct Harmonic balancer flywheel, of course. The, uh, the rods are the same, 396s and 454s, but the pistons, Keith Black makes a special piston that makes this project work. It's a KB361. These are dash 40s, but they make them in all different sizes. So, 
not only did it take my cubic inches to 436, it increased my compression ratio to 10.8, which, you know, would allow me to run a lot bigger cam, and I'd actually need to run a bigger cam, you know, due to uh, bleeding off some cylinder pressure for pump gas. You know, at 10.8, I know I've had a lot of street motors. That's that's borderline with iron heads on running on pump gas. So basically, you got a pump gas motor when you're driving around town. If you want to go to the track, you probably ought to put some additive in it or throw a gallon of race gas in there. I, my philosophy is, and I, I'm just different, is you don't have enough compression if you don't need a little bit of race gas when you go to the track. I just like pushing the envelope on the uh, on the uh, compression ratio. So that that was the package of the stroker. And what the cam I put in it, I put a bootlegger in this thing, in the stroker package, the 436. It's an advertised duration on the intake of a 240 and on the I measured at 50 thousandths. And it is a 252 on the exhaust measured at 50 thousandths. The intake lift is 590. The exhaust lift is 590 also. So that's that. That's the cam that was used in this project. And the horsepower that it made was 556 horsepower and 550 foot-pounds of torque. Now, that was also made with a uh, Edelbrock RPM intake air gap same intake as the previous test with the 408. The carburetor that I used on the 436 was my Pro Systems 1000. Now I used a different carburetor. I used a, a regular 750 on the 396, the board out 396, and I used my Pro Systems on the bigger motor. Uh, my testing, I have a cabinet of 12 carburetors that I have used for dyno testing. If the motor makes over 500 horse up to 700 horse there's just not a carburetor that i own makes more horsepower than my thousand cfm pro system so i don't i've stopped even trying to beat it you know if the motor's less than five sometimes i've got some 750s that'll have a better looking curve so you know i'll use some type of 750 carburetor <clears throat> the uh, I upgraded when I went to a 436 I upgraded to a windage tray but both of them had a stock style oil pan on it on the project you know the valve covers was the same uh, rockers same it was just a stroker package with a bigger cam and it jumped 90 horsepower and uh, I didn't add it up right now but it's like 70 foot pounds of torque increase and 99 horsepower the reason I'm such a big fan of this project is this morning. I get on Facebook Marketplace. I get on the internet and surf around and see who's wanting to get rid of a big block Chevy. And there's always a couple good deals on 396s. The 396s, if they're older, if they're 69 or older, most of them, I know I'm probably wrong about this, you know, occasionally, but most of them you'll find have a Ford steel crank. If you want to keep that crank for a 427 build someday, that's cool. But if you don't want to keep it, you put that back up for sale. You say you give $800 for your package of 396 parts, that crankshaft will get you $500 back a lot of times. You can get quite a bit out of a forged steel 396 slash 427 crank. So what I'm, I've always been into is the, the cheapest power that I can make per dollar. And, you know, if you got 550 horse with uh, 560 foot-pounds of torque in the right car, that'll run deep 11s. And really, you will have very economical big block Chevy for the money. Or if you've got a Chevelle or Camaro that's got a numbers matching motor and uh, you want, you'd like an extra 99 horsepower, it's, it's a pretty simple project. So anyway, that's my... 436 stroker build and the specs on the the shootout that I did in between the 408 versus the 436 and I appreciate you tuning in this is Nick thank you